is 20th century opera. My reason for this was a production that I did a few years ago of The Turn of the Screw, Benjamin Britten, and I completely fell in love with his style and with the character and the experience I had on that production. And so I wanted to investigate more of Britten's operas and also of his contemporaries. I find so fascinating about the characters that I've chosen to sort of represent on this disc is the the psychological aspect to them and the the subject matter that composers of, of this time seem to be attracted to is a, of a much more sinister um, dark nature and the characters are really um, very fully drawn and um, the sources for a lot of the operas are already great literary works, Henry James' Turn of the Screw, of course, and Strindberg's Miss Julie. So for me, it's just as much of a dramatic exercise as a vocal one. Um, I love working with Kate, and we've had a long relationship working together because we did her first disc together. But before that, we'd done Turn of the Screw in Glyndebourne, so that we really get to, got to know how each other works and what we need to do and what makes each other tick. So we have we have a really nice working working relationship. So we started this afternoon with the Vorjax Song to the Moon from Rosalka, which is a really well-known bit of music, so it comes with its own pressure in a way. But it's nice to do that in one session and also something by Alwyn, which is completely unknown, a different sort of thing, where you feel like you're discovering it for the first time. It's always such a challenge because I haven't sung the role of Rosalka to, to, to take the aria and, and record it but still try and find and understand that character. The subject matter um, with, with many of Britain's operas is, is so intense and the thing that is, is amazing um, from a singer's perspective is how he, he writes for the voice. It's almost as if you're not singing, it's almost as if you're speaking because the, the, the way that he writes the melodic lines is, is so natural, so naturalistic. And and that's really what got me excited about, about putting together a group of 20th century arias. Can
at the time what you're doing is so over the top and then when you go and listen back to what you've done you think it didn't actually feel like that at all and I need to do more 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 all the time so there's certain things you don't have to worry about like can I be heard over the orchestra which is the usual you know worry of, of so many singers in opera but it, it was more about trying to get that character across of course in an opera you have so much more help because you have a costume and, and all the other characters around you women are very vulnerable, they're laid bare, and you can never really understand who they are. So having performed the role of the governess, I'm, I'm, there's many unanswered questions for me, and, um, and that's what makes it interesting, is that you can never ever really find the answers. I think as far as his writing goes, everything is in the score, and he's very, very specific about what he wants. and. Um, different types of staccato singing, for example, and it's your job to try and understand what the emotion is behind that. I would be fascinated to, to play Miss Julie. A, because the play is so incredible and so the source is there and the answers are there. And B, because it's never been performed and I really think that it's an opera that should be put on stage. When the 